Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I forgot to turn on my second ball. Have to have the spin ball going. Hi, Betty. Forgot to have. I forgot to turn on my spin ball. A spin ball for you all. So, happy Friday, everyone. Hello, Michelle. What's going on, Sparkle Chicks, Funky Junkers? Come on in. I got a cute little um, patriotic craft we're gonna do today. Hi, Robbie. What's going on, chickadees? Hello, Terry. Hi, Onita. Hello, hello, hello. Come on in. Hi, Elizabeth. I'm so excited for this. I already made one, so it's going to be really cute. Hi, Pam. Hi, Janet. Hi, Susan. What's going on, chickadees? Hello, Jacqueline. Come on in. Thank you guys for sparkling. This is going to be cute. Hello, Bria. Hello, Becky. So I'm excited. This is super easy, guys, and you guys are going to want to make a whole bunch of them. I know it. Hello, Peggy. Hi, Marianne. Yes, hello, Marsha. Happy Friday, TGIF. Um, thank God. Guys, I got in my hot tub this morning. It was amazing. So far, I think we're just hanging at home. The in-laws are coming over. Hello, Paula and Vicky. And I think we're just going to, you know, play it low. Um, just kind of keeping it to the fam familia. Probably go watch some fireworks. Hello, Michelle. Hi, Patty. Hi, Kay. Hello, Susie. Welcome and happy Friday, everyone. <laughs> So I'll wait for you guys to roll on in. I know they keep scrolling in. So are you are you guys glad it's Friday? Thank you, Terry, for the stars. Thank you, Angela. I did link this t-shirt, um, the place I got it, up in the video description. It's crystallized by Sparkle. I found her here on Facebook. She's done a couple of my shirts for me. Um, really cute. Hello, Teresa. Hello, Sherry. Yes, I love gnomes too. I did my first ones last year. Hello, Nikki. So I'm excited to show you guys. This is really super, super cute. So if you guys like my shirt, I did link it in the video description. Go check out her amazing page. She does all kinds of awesome blingy um, stuff. Uh, Susan, the hi, Isabel. Yes, my back is feeling good. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Yesterday, last night, it was feeling pretty good. And I think it's because out of all the medicine I took, you know what's funny? What helped me the work, the best was uh, the Midol. Go figure. Yeah, Midol. Save the day. And then uh, this morning, I actually slept really good last night. It wasn't giving me too much grief. Um, and then this morning, I got up, had my coffee, and jumped right into that hot tub at 104 degrees. And it was just like heaven. Seriously. Hello, Chris. Hi, Tammy. Thank you for the stars. Yeah, so I'm probably going to get in that baby tonight, too, because it's a little cooler here today. It's only like 68 degrees here in, in Ohio. Thank you for sparkling. Happy Friday, indeed. I am so ready for the fourth long 43-day 40, 40, weekend for a lot of the office and and workers. Old pans like Pete's pan and make myself miss or something. That is awesome. Yes, you totally should. I see a bunch of you already starting to do your uh, little trays that we did the other yesterday. Was that yesterday we made the little... The little Santa Claus thing. Hello, Kathy. Hi, Glenda. Uh, it does. You know what? My hair was down, and I was up here, and then I have this up here. I keep it up here. So I, I'm like, you know what? I'm getting my hair out of my face. So hello, Sue. Hi, Glenda and Gail and L Lila. Thank you, guys, for the stars. Thank you, Marion, for the stars. Hello, Phyllis. Hello, Linda. Thank you guys for sparkling. We're getting a couple hundred people on here. Midol is a muscle relaxer. No kidding. Yeah, but I took Motrin. That's an anti-inflammatory, and it didn't like cut the cut the mustard. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Cheryl. Thank you guys for sparkling. Cheryl Funkhauser. I love your last name. That is awesome. You just gotta smile when you say your last name, right? Funkhauser. Yeah. So I use Midol for other things, but honestly, that made my back feel the best. So I think I'm gonna go and take two more. Yes, Nikki, hot tub when it snows. I know. I can't wait. Um, we're looking for an umbrella actually, like one of those ones that go off to the side and kind of extend over. So I'm looking for a big one. Hello, Shirley and Judith. Hello. Happy Friday indeed. Happy 4th, everyone. Who's going to be whipping out their 4th of July attire? I know I've got some of my Belle Lily stuff I'll be wearing. Thank you. If you guys like the tea again, I did link it, link her shop up into the video description here on Facebook. Um, she's a gem and she's got lots of great I mean, you could spend hours on her website and her Facebook just looking at all of the sparkle she's got going on there. 
Thank you, Lori, for the stars. You guys are awesome. Um, you're helping me reach my goal. Um, thank you so much. Oh, I'm so sorry, Angie, for your loss. Big prayers to you. But yes, always crafting is always really good therapy. That's how I feel. So, hi, Jana. Hi, Marlene. Hi, Rhonda. Look at Bed Bath & Beyond from Brillies. That's good to know. Hi, Nina. Hi, Barbara. Happy 4th, everyone. Welcome to Royal Funky Junk. I'm Kathy, if you don't already know it. I'm a junk store loving, thrifty, uh, funkifying kind of chick. And we like all things that sparkle here at Royal Funky Junk. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Rebecca. Your daughter's name is Chanel. That is awesome. How's the star things work? So uh, it's like a little perk from Facebook. And they give us, I think I want to say it's a penny per star. And then they have, they give us uh, business owners and crafters uh, star goals to hit every month. And if they do, they give us little bonuses like extra stars. So it's kind of a cool thing. Mary, anyone's, I was at Hobby Lobby this morning because I told you guys we we're going to make this. So um, hi, Claire. Hi, Tammy. Oh, thank you, Tammy. First time commenting. <laughs> You're so cool. I love it. Um, it's awesome. Mm. Francine, I'm glad you found me too. Hello, Tara from Ohio. I'm in Ohio. What part are you from, Tara? I'm, in, I'm near Cleveland in Chagrin Falls. Hi, Debbie Douglas and Betty. Sharon, oh my word, I ate the whole stinking bag. Yeah, no wonder I'm, you know, uh, inflamed because I ate probably 9,000 calories yesterday. Chris Hunter smacked me on my hand. Literally, I ate that whole bag of triple chocolate sea salt popcorn and it was delicious hi Agnes hi Eileen Francie but you know what that's what I happens when you know it's that time of the month and I'm PMS in it it's like forget about it all right pasta last night and then um, I'll probably get back on my my regular um, my regular way of living here and uh, over the weekend it was so good so good Byesville, Ohio. I don't know where that's at, Betty. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Francine. Hi, Jana. Jonah. Oh, okay. Hi, Susan. Okay, you guys are awesome. Keep on sparkling. Hello, Marquita. Hello. Yes, you made the chicken salad, Shirley. Uh, right? It was good, wasn't it? Even Did you add the cinnamon in there? Because that kind of makes it for me. You don't have to, but it's good. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Sharon. Thank you, Sharon, for the stars. Uh, you too, Suzette. I hope everybody has a great, relaxing uh, 4th of July. Um, watch some fireworks. And now that they are allowed to have fireworks, we didn't have fireworks last year. We had our party last year, um, and my husband put on one heck of a fireworks show. We do have some fireworks left from last year. Yes, I love that stuff. I have. I thank you for the stars, Michelle. Um, there's this little, it's called Missoula Market, Missoula's Market, um, like a little meat market, and they always have, and I think it's like locally made. Oh my word, it was so good. Hi, Tammy, welcome. Tammy, we have a new sparkle chicken in the house. Welcome. That you are at a point you can, yes. Oh, I definitely splurged, Chris. Seriously, I splurged like nobody's business. Thank you, Lori Stackhouse, for the stars. Lori Stackhouse, do you know what's funny? My great-great-grandmother's maiden name was Stackhouse. Mm -hmm. Funny, huh? You're getting ready to jump in the pool. Our pool is still, like, cold because we need to find, we need to get a heater, and all the heaters are on back order. Our heater blew. Hi, Jean. You did add cinnamon. Oh, good. Hello, Natalie. Yay, the lipstick you found it at Walmart. Good to know they have it. It's, it's called Milani. It's backwards for y'all, but it's called Milani. And it's number 17 Plum Rose, and it's like liquid silk. Seriously, it's so good. I love it. Girls and their chocolate. Oh, Francine, that sounds like fun. Thank you guys for sparkling at the 70, 77. Oh, that's not too far away then, Betty. Um, I know where 77 is. I'm not really sure about 70, but I knew 77. Um, oh, that's awesome. It does, doesn't it? Add to oh poultry season. Take it to it. That's awesome. Friday night Mexican food night. I might be meeting a girlfriend for dinner tonight. I'm waiting to hear back from her. I don't know yet. Thank you, Chris, for the stars. Uh, what days do you normally go? Whenever, but I know in my area the Goodwill Sundays and Mondays are the days to go. 
because that's when they have like all their sales. Hi, Christine. Hi, Tammy. Oh, Tammy, your daughter lives in Ohio. What part? Hi, Dee Dee. On the cool side. Yes, I like it. Well, I like my pool around 85, even when it's hot out. But sometimes it gets too. Right now it's probably 70. Oh, you colored your diamond dust today. That is awesome. Yes, isn't the lipstick like amazing? I love it. I love it. Hello, Shelly. Hi, Patty. Um, what else was I going to talk to you guys about, too? Um, uh, I got I ordered some launch products today. Guys, right now they are having a 4 for 40 sale. Go check out my link up in the video description. Um, 4 for 40. I ordered the sea salt. I ordered some shampoo. I ordered the heat shield. Um, I ordered a Laduo. So I'm going to be doing a live with the Laduo curling iron when I get that. Um, so guys, 4 for 40 for the 4th of July sale. 4th of July. I think it ends on Monday or Monday or through the 4th. Um, but make sure you go and check that out. Hi, Kathy Spang. Um, make sure you guys go check that out um, and take advantage of that 4 for 40. Uh, seriously, good deal. You, I haven't tried the sea salt, but my hair gets really kinky curly with sea, when I'm in the ocean, so that's why I'm excited to try that. Hi, Denny. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Kay and Lorette. Um, so, yeah, you guys, go click. I left all my links up in the video description, so make sure you get on there and do that. And when I get that, oh, it's pouring rain. Mia, what is your great-great-grandmother from around Michigan? We were in Canada. I don't know. I will find out, Lori. I'll have to ask my mom. She might have been. I don't know. Have you gotten your paparazzi? Not yet, Dee Dee. Um, yeah, Round the Clock TV is on the Roku. I know that. Hi, Kathy Cortez. You have a you have a giant. Oh, that sounds interesting. Hi, Melody. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Donna. Thank you, Nicole, for the stars. You guys are so flipping awesome to me. I appreciate every single one of you. Hi, you're watching me from South Africa. That is so stinking awesome. Welcome, Madeline. Matt Mandelaine. Mandalayne. I hope I'm saying that right. 85. Yes. Do you live in Phoenix? I don't like it when I get in there really, really hot. Thank you, Lori, for the stars. Please tell me the colors on your eyes and lips. Lips is Milani number 17 Plum Rose. My eyes is wet and wild. Uh, just some kind of purpley stuff. Um, wet and wild. Um, I do believe I have that linked over on my website. If you click the main menu button at the top and then go to shop, it scroll down and it's in there. Hello from Memphis. Did you say there's a code for Beauty Society? Uh, Beauty Society, if you give your email, you get a 20% coupon. So yes, go. the Beauty Society link is also up there. Uh, they're having great cart deals right now. Um, and they got the, um, the new product out. I'm so bad. I totally forgot what it's called. M something. Um, I ordered it. It's so good. Yeah, South Africa is totally cool. Thank you, Nancy. Yeah, my hair was getting in my way, and it, you know, so I was like, well, well, here we go. I look like a little, you know, 80s chick, but it's good. Hello, Evelyn. Hello. Okay, so who's ready to make this known? I think we're all ready. Yes, go get on it now, Shelly, for sure. All right, so what you're going to need. Now, I went to Hobby Lobby today to get all of this stuff to do this. Uh, Mission Impossible, thank you for doing show. You're awesome. I knew it was named after a movie or something like that. I'm reaching all corners of the world. It's amazing, isn't it? So incredible. So um, I, I got all this at Hobby Lobby, okay? Um, you're going to need one of these cones. This is just a paper mache cone. It's 18 inches, and it was $2.49. So um, thank you, Michelle. Yes, you've been here from the very beginning. She remembers when I had like five people on my lives. You never know how you may be related. No kidding, right, Lori? I, I think it's really cool. Thank you. $5 paparazzi from Crazy for Jewelry and Gabrina Jules. $5, $5, $5. Yep, $5. Debbie, uh, feel free to message me. I will definitely help you out with what you need. Um, or I will go back and watch the replay and I will message you. But yes, absolutely. Look how shiny my face looks. See, because it's so... It's, kind of, it's a little humid even though it's cooler, but and I, there's something going on with my light in here. I have to put darkening shades at the window behind me because it gives off such an awful glare. But yes, Debbie, I will definitely help you with that. Hi, Virginia. Oh, hi, Pam. I'm so glad you found me. 
I know my website lacks a little bit. I'm just going to be totally uh, upfront and transparent with y'all. Um, it does. I'll get there. I'm getting there. But right here on Facebook is my content. That's okay, Linda. We're just getting started. Is it Menage, the Lange product? Menage. I have that. That's Men Menage Marula Oil. That stuff is amazing. Um, Gabrina Jules is also paparazzi, Debbie. Yes, she is. And so is Crazy for Jewelry. There's some sparkle chicks here. Hi, Patricia. You're welcome. Um, okay, so we're going to start off. Um, hello, Lynn from Pensacola, Florida. Um, we chat here, chicks. All my newbies. Um, we like to chick chat. So... I like to look at my comments, and sometimes I get off kilter. Hi, Sheila, like now. But it's what we do here, and we're all like one big happy family. So um, here's a little rule. If you come on here and you don't like how much chatter we have, um, don't leave a nasty comment or you're going to get banned. I won't tolerate it. So just I just don't. Thank you, Michelle. Yeah, um, so I just, uh, hi, Patsy. I just don't, you know what? I have people on here telling me, just rude. Yeah, right, Chris Hunter? We love the chick chat. So um, that's what we do here. So it's just a rule that I started doing, and I get people leaving nasty comments. I say, bye, Felicia. I give them about five minutes, and then you're out of here. Like, you know, whatever. I like the chats, too. So it's what we do here. It's like we're family, and it's, you know, FaceTime. Kind of, because I'm the only one talking. But when you guys chat to me, I see it. And if I don't see it during the live, I'll see it on the replay. And if you have a question, I, I do my best to go back and look at um, look at all the comments. So anyhow, let's get this show on the road. Okay, you have your paper mache cone. It's 18 inches. I'm getting tough. You know, because I don't like negativity. It's like, don't ruin my day. It is healthy for the soul. So it's not getting tough. It's just I don't want those people on my page. Because I banned somebody yesterday, and when I went back and looked at her previous comments, they were all negative. Like, just, they made you feel yucky, so I was like, you know what? She's out of here. So I, blo I blocked her. Thank you, Angie. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Pat. So anyway, you got your cone right here. You are going to need some of these. You get these also at Hobby Lobby. They're back, I don't know, back by the, not the fabric, but they're kind of back by the paints and the t-shirts and the hats and all that. Um, sisterhood indeed so it's called faux fur and they're like they have all different kinds of colors this is just white but it's kind of fluffy fur um, and you just kind of cut these up I'm going to show you guys how I did it you're going to need a little package of these these little pom-pom fuzzy pom-pom balls um, they're also back in the same aisle as this <laughs> I love you Sue thank you Barbara for the stars thank you Nicole just shared to my show. Love you too. Oh, thank you, Julene. You guys are awesome. Everybody loves the chick chats. I do give the haters the boot. Conscious that I'm not basic. That's okay. You don't have to be. Uh, you could be from South. Where are you from? South Ever. It's amazing how far uh, Facebook can reach. So welcome. Chicks should like to cluck. Indeed, we do. Uh, my tattoo says. Uh, no matter what with my son's initials because I always tell them I love you no matter what no matter what you do no matter where you go no matter Who you love no matter what? All right, you guys are awesome um, Cone you're gonna need some fur or we can get you know, it's like my ADD goes into full effect. I swear to gosh um, Exactly Francine. So thank you for the stars D. So here you got your faux fur you're gonna need a roll of this is tool with confetti glitter okay look at that it's kind of sparkly thank you Patricia for the stars you're gonna need a feather boa now you guys can do this in any color combination I'm doing a white beard with like a blue kind of trim hat and then we're gonna do a red hat with a little white ball um, exactly Charlene creepers do gotta go from, I know, right, Dina? I do. You end up playing with this stuff because it feels good. It's soft. So, um, hello, Rochelle from Indiana. Um, so, you're going to need a feather boa. And they have these in all different kinds of colors. So, you don't have to do. Thank you for the stars. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to do this color combination. Again, like I said, I'm just showing you the basics. You can do whatever you want. Um, because people suck, Rebecca. Yeah. They think they're hurting my feelings, but they're really not. Um, and you're also going to want to need, or you don't have to, but this is what I did with mine. This like, I don't know, what do you call this stuff? Um, 
whatever it is. Um, so the cone is paper Miss shade, Gina. Yes. Um, exactly. You know what? When people are mean, I believe it says more about them than what it says about me. Oh, that'd be so cute, Lori. I like the blue boy too. So anyway, you have this. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to get, you want to make his beard, right? Oh, and you're also going to need uh, one of these little wooden balls with the f one flat side for his nose, okay? Barbara, I got my shirt. I linked the place I got it at, Crystallized by Sparkle, up in this video description is her Facebook page. Um, yeah, Francine, yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, I know. My mom don't like him either. Um, yeah, so go check out Crystallized by Sparkle, and I did link her shop up in, well, her Facebook page up in my video description. Ah, I love it. Thank you, Marty, for the stars. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is just take your cone. I'm going to try to move you guys down so you can see. Hi, Delilah. And you're going to open this up. Now, you want to make sure there is like a, you know, all this fur goes down. You don't want to put it up. You want this, you want this beardy stuff to be going down. So, unfortunately, it's not long enough for me to go all the way around it. Um, so, I just kind of do about, I don't know... A little bit at the bottom you know you can make as big of a beard or as skinny of a beard as you want but I kind of like them um, maybe about right here is good that's about good so I'm just gonna kind of fold that there so I know I want to cut this all the way across um, right here now the thing about cutting this fur you don't want to just stick your scissors in there and cut you want to only cut the back get your scissors in there and just cut that backing so you're not losing all that fuzz that fur and you don't you don't want to you want your fuzz to still hang down so you're just cutting the back of this and I'll show you why in a minute and you kind of have to piece part this um, you can get the bigger rolls of this um, fluffy stuff um, at Hobby Lobby, but it costs more money, you know, and, and I don't know if, I don't think their fabric was 50% off today. So see how that still looks? For, if you were to just cut, you'd have a straight line there, and you, you want it to look like a beard. Hi, Lisa. Oh, Lori, that's not my munchkin. She doesn't come home until February 16th. Those are the little neighbor girls. Thank you, Jeannie. Um, so anyway, so what you're going to do is you're just going to line up the bottom to this right here is how you want to do it. And you're just going to wrap that all the way around. And then all you're going to do is you're going to adhere it with some glue. Just regular hot glue will do. Just put a bunch of it on there. Your hot glue is going to get a little wonky because it's going to get hair in it with this project. But it'll still do the trick. See, it's getting all kind of gross. Yuck, let's get that off of there. Because I already made one, and uh, I need to get a paper towel and clean off my glue gun. So just a bunch of glue gun. You don't. You can put a lot, but you, it'll stick on there pretty well. So I uh, try to wipe my glue gun off, all that hair. So now what I'm going to do is just make sure you get that right side up, and I'm just going to apply that bottom right there to the bottom of my cone. And then just press that down. See, so it's already starting. Now, don't worry about these little bubbles up here if it's not right, it's not gonna be a big deal. Just press that down. Now you do have a little bit uh, right here. Uh, hello, Renee from Cancun, that sounds wonderful. Um, um, so you, you just got to cut another piece just to kind of piece it together in there. So I'm just going to kind of measure out. And because this is on an angle, it's probably going to take just a couple more pieces. But it's okay. You just make it work. Oh, actually just one. All right, so I'm going to cut it to about here. And again, I'm only going to do the inside of that. You don't want to cut the fur. You're just cutting the backing. And I'm just going to cut this all the way down. And then I'll cut my uh, depth after. 
so I need a piece and I want to make sure and you can't overlap this you're never going to really be able to tell that this was seamed together and then I'm going to have to cut it about there it hides pretty stinking easily you don't have a lot of um, you don't see a lot of what you were doing of where you met it up at it's pretty easy so now I just gotta make one more and just go right around there like so and then I just gotta measure out that side of it so it's gonna be right there and again it does not have to be perfect because here's the thing this is gonna be at the back of your gnome and if somebody's looking that closely at it then they're too close hello from Anchorage hi Brenda okay so same thing you are just going to lay down a bunch of glue and I'm out of glue of course I am and I got my uh, my rope sticks here so guys this is sure bonder this is at Hobby Lobby it's $3.99 for five feet of glue like seriously you can't beat it I am gonna cut it in half though just because it is a little heavy and but oh my word it is like the best stuff ever it will last you it's so good it's so good yeah I cut the back of the fur Claudia I this glue gun I got this glue gun on um, Amazon it's called a tang tog I do have this one linked over on my website also if you go to royalfunkyjunk.net and type in um, and type that in you will see that on there type in um, go to the shop button I'm losing my train of thought go to the, go to the shop button and um, and go down to darn it why doesn't that want to go in there shop and then it's in the uh, hit the main menu at the top and then go to shop and it's scroll down I got the for everything came from Hobby Lobby I use the thick glue gun not the thin one all right so you have this now see you have your little um, your little hair you can't tell just make sure that you are all glued down everywhere and you can't tell where you pieced up and where you met you know I mean a little bit but it's not that bad so you just want to make sure that that's to the back of you so now the next thing we're gonna do I bought a box of that glue off Amazon it's a lot of glue for the money you think $3.99 for five feet of glue is a lot I think it's like amazing I think it's fabulous deal I mean considering the fact that the glue sticks themselves are I think expensive Um, but yeah, these were only $3.99 for five feet of Sherbonder glue. Let me see. Yeah, $3.99. Not bad. Um, okay, so we have this. Now, the next thing you want to do. Hi, Micheline. Ryobi. Oh, it does look like a Ryobi. For sure it does. Okay, um, thank you guys for sparkling. I see them all coming in here. You guys are awesome. I know I missed some comments while I was looking down, but don't you worry. I'll get you. Yes. Okay. She said it is a lot of glue. Oh, a lot of glue for the money. Yes. I think so, too, for the little bit of money that you spent. Okay, so next thing you're going to do is I picked up some true red acrylic paint at Hobby Lobby. Now, you don't have to use red. You can use whatever color you want. But because I'm using this, this little rhinestone tool over the top of this, I wanted to give this a really nice base of red. So I'm going to go ahead and just paint all of this up at the top red thank you guys for sparkling yeah and you know sure bonder is great glue so um, um and it's I, I prefer it and when I found the uh, when I found the uh, the five foot one I debated getting it and I was like hmm and then I tried it and I was like wow this is awesome you don't have to worry about replenishing your you know your 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 glue every because how much glue do we go through as crafters right it's 
with 77 feet, five pounds for $39. Oh, well, and it was Sherbonder, that was Amazon. Well, maybe this is a special deal on, uh, I think I've always seen that uh, at Hobby Lobby though. I need to get some more paint. A new battery operated. I know I've seen some of those battery operated glue guns. I don't know if anybody of you guys have one. How do you like it? I don't, I've never had one, um, but I know I follow some crafters who, who do use them. But if you're anything like me, um, you know, you have to remember to plug it in. That's probably where I would feel. I can't even remember to plug in my iPad half the time. Okay, so you got all of this painted. It doesn't have to be two coats or super heavy. You just you want to get rid of that that look. I'm gonna hit it with my hair dryer. You don't worry if you get fur flying on it. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want it dry. Like, love my battery. I'm gonna have to look into that. Maybe I'll get that for my birthday. I'll tell Mike I want a battery operated glue gun. So I'm just hitting this with some heat from my hair dryer and getting it really dry before I go to the next step. Oh, a cordless, electric, and it's cordless. See? Yeah, Ryobi. Battery. It goes like me back. Yeah. Hey, I'm glad you love gnomes. Okay. So I'm just making sure this is getting. Oh, you want a battery? I tell my you need two batteries, right? My birthday is in September. Okay. Alright, so I think I got this pretty much dry. And right now you're probably thinking, what the hell are you making? Oops, I actually said H-E-L-L -L Hopsicle. Heck, are you making? Okay, so you've got this cute little thing so far. I'm going to find the back which is here. So the front, I'm gonna take my front and I'm gonna take this hair and I'm just gonna kind of separate it right here. Almost make like a little mustache, kind of like that. Just kind of separate that. And that is where we are going to take one of these wood beads. These are the larger wood beads. They are um, one and a quarter diameter. And I am just going to Get a whole bunch of glue on there, and I'm gonna plop that right in the center, right there. So you can kind of see the makings of a cute little gnome, right? Hello, Michelle, good afternoon, hi Nadine. Hi, September 9th is my birthday. But I am east of Dallas. Oh, that's not too far. Maria, your birthday is this month the 9th. Happy early birthday. Are you making a Santa gnome? No, we're making a patriotic gnome, Lori. All right, so here you go. You have the beginning of your gnome here. Okay, so now the next thing, this is where you're going to get um, your, this is where this comes into play. The cute little blue um, boa. So I'm going to go directly back from the nose. Let's see if I can move you guys down directly back from the nose, and I'm just gonna apply a bead of glue right here on the back. And I'm just gonna press that down right on as we go around here. So it's gonna cover up this wonkiness, okay? This is kinda like the brim of his fluffy hat, I guess. I'm a Virgo baby. Yes, you got married on September 9th? That's awesome. Mine is the 9th, my oldest son's is September 4th, and my youngest son is September 11th. And then my husband's is September 16th, and my oldest stepson is September 23rd. Right here is the nose. It's a little uh, one and a quarter round ball with 
one side of the ball is flat. See how it's flat? So you want that, and that's, that's the nose. And you get those at Hobby Lobby. So now what you're gonna do is I just take my glue and I just drop a bunch of it right across the top right there and then just lay this little boa like so, glue it on there. You're gonna go right over the nose but you still want your nose to be visible, you know, because that's kind of like what makes him know me. He's a know me homie. September 1st. That's awesome. So then you're just going to meet it up to the back. So I got it measured off. And I'm going to cut that. I'm done with that. I've got blue fur flying. And then you're just going to continue your glue and meet it up to where you left off and press that down right there like so how stinking cute is this so see you kind of can you see where it's the start of a cute little gnome so the next thing I do we're not finished yet so now what you want to do is you want to get your red sparkly tool September. Oh, that's awesome. That's my stepson's. How cool is that? Yeah, we have lots of birthdays in my family in September. My sister-in-law's is September 5th. My daughter-in-law, Brittany's, hers is the 5th. My girlfriend's anniversary is the 5th. So we have lots of birthdays. Yeah, we have one big party. Yeah, <laughs> one big party. All right, so I'm going to pull a bunch of this because you're going to need a bunch of it. Oh, that's awesome. He's a Nomi homie. <laughs> so cute. So you're going to find... This is what I did. So you're gonna find the end. Now this is a three inch uh, ribbon, okay? Um, now all I'm gonna do is, it's super simple. I'm gonna find the back again, okay? I'm gonna give it a little dab of glue right there. And I am gonna fold this in half, okay? And just take my end and just drop that right there on that little glue. And you kind of want to push down this fur because you want to get this red kind of way down underneath that blue fur. Or you can actually do this before you apply your fur. I guess it really doesn't matter. Um, you just want that, that down, this red ribbon down as far as it will go into that blue fur. So I guess it would make more sense, you know, to um, put the red ribbon on first. But again, well, we're making it work. So then apply another little dab of glue in the back when you get back to the back, just so this stays. Is he getting bling? We, of course he can get bling. I mean, every he's getting some what of a bling. It is tool. Yep. Uh, I found that vintage Santa Maria at um, Hobby Lobby last year. So, and I'm just taking this and I am keeping it kind of, you know, doubled up like so. And I'm just taking, this is why it's so great working on um, a turn table. And I'm just covering up that flat, ugly red paint. And I'm just, I want it to have a little bit of texture and sparkle. So I'm just wrapping this sparkly tool all the way around this cone. just to give it kind of like a, oops, a nice roused look kind of, I guess is the word you would want to call it. And I'm just spinning it and spinning it. And see how cute that is? Look at all that sparkle. Totally adorable. And this is what makes it even better when you're working on a Lazy Susan because you could just spin that and spin it and spin it. Isn't it cute? Um, and then every once in a while, I will take a, make sure you're on the back side of it, I will take a little dab of hot glue just to really, you know, hold that on there. And then I just keep going up, making sure to overlap it a little bit And then we go all the way to the top. Keep going. Oop, 
Just keep spinning, just keep spinning. It sounds like a song. Um, so keep on going. It's already five o'clock already. Okay, so this is where you just wanna keep it real tight up here towards the top. First gnome you've seen that you really like. I try to be a little different, a little creative. You know, something that everybody could do. This is so easy. I mean, this would be a fun craft with your grandkids or your younger children. And the color combinations are amazing. So here, I'm just going to wrap that around. And then I'm going to make sure it's the back side. And I'm just, I would say Carlina's home. I'm going to cut that off. And then I'm just going to glue that like so up towards the top. Grab your little finger protector. And then I'm just going to, you know, twist that around so it will stay nice and glued. Don't worry about that because it doesn't matter if it's got yucky stuff up here because we're going to cover it up. Now, all right, so that's good. So second thing you want to do, seriously, chicks, look how stinking cute. Oh, my word, there's blue stuff flying everywhere. So see, he's got this cute little thing. So now what you want to do is you want to take your little puff ball it's Dory from Bunny. Just keep swimming. Yes, I knew it. You can make a wizard. You can make so many different kinds of gnomes. Um, so you keep pressing it till you find like, you'll. it's almost got like a soft spot. That's what I look for. Something you could really stick your finger in. And then I just drop a bunch of glue right on top of there. Like this. Maybe like a dime size amount. Turn your, your cone upside down, but being this is paper mache, you can't really press super, super hard or you will crush it. So just hold it there. Put your little fur bits up around where you see some glue and just hold it there till it's dry. So you like my ring paparazzi, $5, $5, $5. This is my husband calling me. Um, so you're just gonna hold it there for about a minute. Hi, Kim Whitmore, are you driving? Nice to see you on here. Okay, so you're just gonna hold this on there, giving it a little bit of pressure, but not too much. It's not like those big metal cones I was using last Christmas because this is paper mache. They're not as sturdy. So you want you wanna push it, but don't just jam it. Yes, he's so cute. So still a little still a little dry but it'll probably get another second here so just hold it on there your, your gnomes seriously uh, she didn't have any last live who I didn't have any what last live yes kind of like that's more or less what I did but I have um, I have made these before in the past, Mary, not these, I've never done a patriotic one, um, but I have done plenty in the past. So seriously, look at that, but he's got some sparkle. Look at that tool. That's why you want to paint underneath there. Um, and then you've got your little feather boa. I mean, I've made ones, go look back at my pages. I've, I've made so many of these. Hello from California. You got the fluff, this cute little shelf sitter. Um, if you wanted to, you can add some florals up here. Like I've done ones with florals before coming out his hat. I do have some florals we could use, um, but I didn't bring any stuff up from my basement. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this stuff, whatever you call this, this wonky wire stuff. Um, I'm going to add this to the gnome. So I'm going to find the back of him and I'm going to just hot glue this up here little dab there it's gonna have to sit for a minute till it's uh ready what are you using for the white fuzzy ball uh, the white fuzzy ball came from Hobby Lobby um, it's just um, it's a pom-pom just a pom-pom and they sell them in two packs and then you could buy like multiple colors garland yes thank you garland um, so just make sure you get this stuck on there with some glue. Make sure you do it in the back so nobody sees it. 
with a white and black ground look okay would a black background look absolutely for sure could you diamond dust the hat Lori I wouldn't because it's already sparkly um so I wouldn't I, I don't I'm not sure that I would waste the diamond dust uh, Gloria, um, let's see. The cone was two fifty. The pom pom, the balls. You get like a bag of four for two fifty. Um, the boa was three ninety nine. Um, this garland here was a buck ninety nine, and the fur, I think, the fur is three forty nine, and I used two of them, so like under twenty dollars. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this garland and make sure I have it all unraveled. And I am going to just kind of rope this around just to give it some color and, to, and some dimension um, up here. You can go as heavy or as thin as you want. It doesn't, you know, you can put this however spaced up that you, that you prefer. But... I mean, we could do the whole thing, but I still want some of that red sparkle to come through too. Um, and just again, remember to um, leave off in the back so you don't see any glue, you know, from the front. So I'm gonna cut this right here, but I'm gonna hold on to that wire because um, it will pop off because it's wired and the whole thing will unravel. So see, then you could play, I mean, seriously, isn't that stinking adorable? All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up gluing this piece right here. Again, we gotta wait for some glue to dry. And so we'll chat. Doesn't that look adorable? You could probably get garland from the Dollar Tree. Oh yeah, headbands for the fourth. Can take them, yeah, they're like so cute. They're perfect gifts. I made these, uh, a Christmas one for my daughter-in-law last Christmas. I mean, they're stinking adorable. You guys want to add some bling? I mean, I'm sure we can add some bling. You can adjust this, you know, you can make it wherever you want. Fluff out your stars. Um, yeah, totally cute. Um, you can add florals to this. And again, you could do a white beard with a red boa and blue tulle. You know, you can do white on white. Uh, I mean, all right, this does not want to stay. Let me hit this with my hair dryer real quick on the cool shot. Maybe that'll help. Uh, the white fuzzy ball came from Hobby Lobby. It's a pom pom. Everything came from Hobby Lobby. help dry that glue a little bit so um, my goodness it does not want to dry why are you giving me grief it doesn't want to it wants to keep popping up let's see I'll get it to stay it's, it's not gonna win but I guess that's good enough I guess I got it <gasps> seriously and then just Fix your little Nomi. Look at how stinking cute. And then you could play around with this. I can bring this up and move this one down. Um, make it look more symmetrical, but seriously, think of all the possibilities you could do with these cute little dudes. I might do a blue hat with a red bow so it looks more like the flag with the stripes and bonds. Absolutely, you could do whatever you want, Dee Dee, absolutely. A little American flag in the fuzzy ball. Yes, there's so much you can do. You could put some bling in there. I don't think I have any bling that would probably go on here. Um, you know, you could put a little, I mean, hypothetically, we could put a little bow up here, make him a little girl gnome, you know, up in his hair. Could be a little girl gnome. Um, what do you guys think about the bling? You can make some shoes, glue a star down over the wire. I have those gem stars, uh, those glass acrylic stars. Poke a wire. I tried that on the first one, Shirley. It wasn't it wasn't strong enough. 
Did you do a Santa hat with one of these? I've done Santa hats with one of these. I did Christmas gnomes. I did fall gnomes. I did Halloween gnomes last year. They're so firecrackers coming out of the top. Yes, I have a bunch of 4th of July stuff down in my uh, basement and I forgot to go grab it. Um, but you could add like, you could do little florals, you know, up in this hat coming out of here on both sides. I mean, there is just, I mean, if you wanted to see it, you can do, um, you can make like a little floral crown, you know, I mean, you guys want to see a floral crown? Maybe I should make one with flowers. I already did one without, do you guys want to see it with the flowers too? And add the bling? Yeah, let's do it. Because here's the other one I made. So this could be the mister, and then we can make this one like the missus. And they're, I'm going to sit these on my fireplace because they're so cute. Little 4th of July things. So, okay, let's do red, white, and blue. So I'm just going to stick these kind of like up here. Let's do the white one right above. So I'm just going to... A ton of glue. Don't be afraid to use a lot of glue. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. Just some glue. I still want to be able to see his gnomey nose. Just press that down. These are just from Hobby Lobby. I think it's perfect too. One's kind of girly and one's kind of, you know, non-girly. So they're a pair. Okay, let's see. Put that one up there. Let's press that on. And then we'll do a blue one. I don't know what my dogs are barking at. We've had people working here all day long. You think they'd be used to it? And then we'll put a little bow on it. Hi, Shelly. All right. So see, this just kind of glams it up a little bit, makes it a little bit more girly. But oh my word, how stinking cute! <gasps> Look it. And then you could. Let's see, where would I add the bow? Let me see. I want to be able to see it. I could put it over here. What do you guys think? Or up here? Should I add the bling? Um, or I can tuck it off underneath this little flower right here. You could put glasses on it for sure. How stinking cute would that be? You know what? I'm going to put it off to the side, kind of like right in the middle. Let's see. I thought I heard my son, but he's at a friend's house, so that was kind of weird. All right. Now, seriously, guys, this is where I say the sky is the limit. Thank you, Charlie, for the stars. The sky is the limit what you can do with um, um, these things. Color and the fur... The, these packets of fur come in like leopard, they come in pink, they come in white, they come in like a fox color. Um, blush on her nose, that'd be a cute one. Make her a little, you could diamond dust her nose. Um, yep, that's on there. Oh my word. See, just, you guys, there's just so many possibilities to do. Just give her a little bit of bling. To me, gnomes have more of a male uh, thank you, Chris, for the stars. Um, but seriously, uh, they just seem gnomes to me. I, but I guess I have to go back and watch that gnome movie and see how they did their girls. Seriously, Mr. and Mrs. Homie, know me. <laughs> They're so cute. So see how stinking adorable. I love that. I kind of like it with the flowers. But you guys can get like all crazy and you can do, I mean, there's, there's, there's hundreds. Well, it's on there now. Uh, it ain't going nowhere. I'm not ripping that off. Blush her nose. All right, let me see. Hold on. I got maybe just a little bit of red, or should I use like a paler pink? Um, I got a little soft pink right here. Oh, my God, Cheryl. Oh, you're a plan, Sherry. Yes, go watch Debbie at Studio MDAZ. She's awesome. I love her. And I'm glad that I come on earlier and she comes on later. 
All right, so we're going to add a little bit of blush. I'm going to dry brush some of this off. And, uh, geez, I guess I just give her a little highlight. Or maybe I'll do the whole nose. Um, I don't want the nose to be pink, though, but a little pink nose kind of defies her as the missus. Mm, I don't know. I think I put too much on there. So you know what I'm going to do? We'll just sand it off. That is the great thing about sanding blocks, which of course I don't know where mine's at. But I do have a nail file up here. Perfect. Let's see if I can get some of it off. Just a touch of pink. I don't know where my sanding block is would be a lot more conducive than using a wicked nail file. But hey, this is working. Or you can paint this, you can paint it white. I mean, you don't have to keep the wood looking nose. Now it looks kind of mottled. I think I might have to paint it. Unless I can get a little bit more of this off. Oh, it's coming off. Yeah, it does kind of look, it looks better now. It just looks a little pink, see? Just a little pink. I just gotta get a little bit more off. We're so funny, aren't we? Bride gnome, oh, a tiara? Yes, that would work. How stinking cute would that be? I do have some tiaras here too, I bet. Crowns, um, you could probably do like a bridal gnome, a bridal wedding gnome, wizard, somebody said wizard gnomes. All right, so she's got a little bit of a pink nose I don't know if it really made a difference or not. I probably did it wrong, but I think the bling and the flowers kind of give her that edge that she is just a little bit different than her big daddy. There it is, Mr. and Mrs. Funky Junk in the house. I think they're adorable. So um, guys, get with it, get crafty, get creative, have fun. Make sure you use something sparkly because life is better when it sparkles. And um, it is perfect. Use real brush. It stays. Oh, that's a good idea, Donna. I never thought of that. Give her some lips. I don't think girls could have beards that are called braids. Oh, that would have been cute, Lisa. Well, then we made. You know, we just made. We just made a blingy one, a blingy floor one. I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, it really doesn't. They're just stinking cute. One's gonna sit on the left. One's gonna sit on the right. <laughs> Give her some lips. Oh, how cute is that, Shannon? Yeah, you made white gnomes. They're so cute. Bride gnome with Tara. Debbie's coming on at 5.30. Ooh, I'm 15 minutes. So let's all go head over and watch Studio MDAZ, Debbie Rigg. She's flipping hilarious. You guys will love her if you already don't know who she is. You definitely should go follow her. And the amazing Chris Hunter. Uh, creating with Chris Hunter and I are doing a page swap this month. So be on the lookout for that. That's going to be, I think, in two weeks. Um, the 16th or the 20th? I think it's the 16th. So she has yarn braids. Yeah, well, I'll have to work on that one, Shannon. Studio M, Studio One Word, M-D-A-Z. It's like three words, but M-D is all capitalized and A-Z is all capitalized. Studio MDAZ. I'll drop the link here. Hold on. Or somebody can. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Kathy Spang, are you still on here? Studio MDAZ. All right, I just dropped it in the link in the comments. Um, still think their nose should have dust. I can do that. That would probably be cute. There it is. Somebody who's right. Studio MDAZ. Yep, that's her. So anyhow, chickadees, you guys have an awesome, awesome um, weekend. I don't know if I'll be on tomorrow or Saturday, but I'll probably ho be hopping on my stories a lot. So make sure you follow my stories. Um, and uh, you guys have an amazing fourth. Um, oh my God, Debbie is so funny. Yes, let's all go watch Debbie. Um, I don't know if I'll be on on Monday. I said I want to do five days a week. So if you guys want me to come on the 4th of July, um, you let me know. Thank you, Kathy Spang. 
unless it's in Check Savvy. Anybody can join. I believe Check Savvy Sisters is a free group. So yeah, you guys can even go join Check Savvy Sisters, right, Kathy Spang? Yes, happy 4th of July, everyone. Um, you guys are awesome. Molly, have a great 4th. Christina, you have a great 4th. Um, I will let you know if I will be on Monday, being that it's a holiday. I, don't, I think we're having family over, so that might be kind of hard. Well, we are having family over. I just don't know what time they're coming. So I don't know. That might be kind of hard. So um, I guess because of the holiday, I'll have to do four days and maybe next Saturday to make it five. So anyway, you guys enjoy. Have a beautiful evening, and I will see you guys chick. I will see you chick soon. Have a great holiday with your families and loved ones. Bye-bye.